In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Steam on your computer. So you can, can start downloading computer games and play today. Okay, first just open any browser and search for Steam. Then click on the welcome to the Steam. So here we are at the steampower.com. The link to this page will be checked in the description below. Once you're here, you're going to come up to install Steam and Steam will be available for Windows and Mac. I'm using a window computer. It automatically detected that. So go ahead and click on install Steam. And the download should start. Once the download is done, let's go up to the top right. Click on the three little dots. Slap downloads. Show in the folder. Let's drag to the Steam setup file to the desktop. Is it out? Now go ahead and click on Steam Setup. Stop the setup. Welcome to the Steam Setup. Go to the NAS. Select your language. I'm gonna select English NAS. Choose a location you like to install Steam. If you're not happy with the location they're providing, go ahead and click on Browse. And you can select whatever you like to install in Steam. That could be the external hard drive, SSD, or your drive C. It doesn't matter. If you're happy with the location, go ahead and click on Install. Once it's done, go ahead and click on finish and it should start updating Steam. Now it wants you to log into Steam now. Since you are new to Steam and you don't have an account, you need to come down to don't have an Steam account. Create a new account. Now go ahead and put in your email address. Confirm your email address. Select your country and or where you live. Prove you're not a bot and check that you're over 30 years of age and then hit on continue. Once you then type in about your info, you're gonna see this screen. Verify your email. You need to go back to your browser, open your email, and look for a Steam verification email. Then click on email verify. Click on verify my email address. You're gonna see this screen email verify and get back to the account creation window. Then please give your account name and make sure your Steam account name is available. And your passport meets all the requirement. Then you will see the new account created successfully. Continue. Now go ahead and sign in with that account name and your passport. Alright, so now we'll log into Steam. If you click on store, you will see the latest game, releases game that may be on sale and games recommended to you due to the games you have played in the past. If you want to download free games, scroll down and click on free games. Then select top seller and you will see the top best game on the list. I'm going to download Apex Legend, click on it. Then you will see the green color button, play game, click on it. It's gonna ask you where you want to install. You can change the location here. But I'm okay with this location. So go to the NAS and download and install it. If you want to see your download progress, just click on download at the bottom of this page. It can take longer to download this game, so leave it there. All right, let, let's go up to the top and let's click on library. Here you can see the games that you have downloaded. Now let's say you just brought a game and you have the game downloading and you want to see the progress of the download. All you need to do is come down here downloads and here will be display any games you have been downloading or any games that need an update or games that are getting update. But the Avis Legion is still downloading, you see? Okay, nice. Let's go up to the community. The community groups are user created hubs where members can share interests, coordinate gaming activities and host discussion in, in group form. And if we click on our user created name here, you can change your profile name. If you're not happy with the one you created, you can enter your real name. This will help friends find you on Steam a lot easier. You can create a custom URL, you can select your location. If you would like, you can add some information in summary about yourself. And it, and it gives you the option to hide community awards on your profile. Ok, 
okay next one let's go down to avatar so you can browse the avatars the steam have available and you can choose from that selection or you can come over to upload your own avatar and you can upload a picture of something you would like or you can upload your face it's up to you and the another one you guys need to look at this theme and here you can choose a the color theme for your profile page so if you're not happy with the default theme you can choose from one of these colors and the last thing i want to show you guys is how to access your friend check go click on your credit account name and go down to friends from here you can search your steam friend by name or game if you want to check with your friend all the way down here in the right corner you will see friend check you will see the friends in check click on that and you will enter the chat menu so those are the main basic steps you kind of need to know to get yourself up and running on steam so you can start downloading pc game today thank you guys for watching if this video was helpful make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the like button and i will see you guys in the next video